there's a way to clock it, but it looked like they were going 65, 70 miles per hour. This morning, we're taking a closer look at the moments right before the pipeline fire erupted in Deer Park. And now we've got new video you'll see only on KHOU 11 News. In the reflection of a window, you can see the white SUV hit the pipeline's valve. And this morning, more than 43 hours later, that fire is still burning. Right now, it is much smaller than it was when we showed you at 10 o'clock last night. We sent our Devon Roming back to the scene of the fire on Spencer Highway near East Boulevard. So Devon, you were there for us just 24 hours ago. What are you seeing now? Well, Stephanie and Ron, good morning. You know, things look a lot different out here than they did 24 hours ago along East Meadow Drive. There are no fire trucks out here. There are no fire hoses being shot onto shooting water rather onto homes and businesses in this area. But if you look off in the distance, you can still see an orange plume of smoke just beyond the homes here in this neighborhood. If you were watching yesterday morning, you know, we could see those flames actually shooting above those homes, but you can't see that right now. It's just the smoke, which I'm, it's safe to say that the fire is doing what it's supposed to be doing, simply burning itself out. Now this morning, evacuation orders are still in place, but some neighbors have been able to return home. Right now, leaders with Harris County Hazmat are urging neighbors to get an air quality check before returning home, making sure it's safe to do so. Hazmat crews are being assisted by the Deer Park uh, Volunteer Fire Department to help make those air quality checks happen. At this hour, the evacuation zone has shrunk, which is good news, as neighbors have been pulling together to assist each other while waiting for this fire to burn itself out. I've been communicating with people back and forth like, hey, are y'all OK? You know, do you need anything? So I'm providing the support that I can as a friend, as a family member. Stay on the flame, the smoke. Now, we also checked in with leaders in the neighboring city of Laporte to find out when their evacuation orders might be lifted. And officials there tell us their evacuation orders will remain in place through at least the rest of today. Right now, though, it's all going to come down to when those air quality checks can be conducted. Live here in Deer Park, Devon Roming, KHOU 11 News. All right, Devon, uh, significantly smaller than it was yesterday and a lot more quiet as well. All right, we're going to check back in with Devon at the top of the hour. For now, you may have noticed how quickly this story gained national attention. And now this morning, it has a lot of homeowners wondering if there's a pipeline underneath their neighborhoods, too. There are hundreds of miles of natural gas pipelines running across the Houston area, and those pipelines can easily rupture as they age. So the Railroad Commission of Texas has this map on its website to show the location of all of the pipelines. Meantime, we are staying on top of this fire and we'll bring you the latest developments on air and on KJU.com, also on our KJU 11 mobile app.